and welcome to this early Easter video. Today we are going to make these Easter eggs. I designed these in Fusion 360 and I made them from two different egg sizes that I found online. I tried to find out where the tradition of these cardboard eggs came from but that was kind of impossible. I think it is a Norwegian or a Swedish phenomenon but we have them here in Denmark as well and they are decorated um, really cool with Easter bunnies and stuff like that like you saw on the pictures. The tradition goes that you fill these eggs with candies for the kids and then when you get to the Easter time you hide them in your garden or in your house or something and you let the kids find the eggs with all the goodies on the inside. I have these Easter uh, nail decoration, nail art decoration, it's actually water decals for nail and I was thinking they were perfect for these eggs. So I am placing the eggs here on this stick that I have when I want to paint. It is really easy to just stick them on there with some double sided tape and then you have your hands free for painting every details on these. So I am choosing here a purple color, but you can use whatever color you want to decorate the eggs. I paint both halves of the egg with this uh, purple color. When the egg is all dry, it is time to decorate it. And I found these water decal nail art um, stickers decorations here on AliExpress. I think you can find them on Timu as well and on all these um, special places where you can get cheap stuff and they are pretty neat. So you just have to dunk them into water and then you can kind of slide them off the paper and then they are sticking to whatever you stick them onto. So pop them into water and leave them there for a few minutes. Now I am carefully taking it off and popping it over on my egg. It is actually a good idea to put a little water here on the egg first because then you can slide it around until you are happy with the placement of it. So I'm just carefully transferring the little picture and using a tiny paintbrush to kind of brush um, all the small creases and crevices um, so that this decal is lying just as I want it to um, and do the same on the other side or the other half of the egg. I made one of the big eggs first because that is easier to show on camera when it's a bit bigger but I'm doing the exact same thing on the smaller eggs. I first painted it and let that dry. Then I found some of the, these decals uh, for uh, the size of the egg that I liked. I dipped that into water and then I slided them over to the eggs so that the pointy side of the eggs goes up and the rounded side is downwards and then I'm just sliding the decals carefully over to the egg and placing it just like I wanted it. And that's a very easy way to decorate these small eggs. Another way to decorate these eggs are by painting some decorations onto them. Uh, you can make lines, you can make zigzags, you can make dots, uh, whatever comes in mind for decorating these eggs. Uh, it's all up to you and your imagination. 
I am going to put a little music on here and just show you how I decided to paint this egg so that you can follow along if you want to. So you can skip the next five minutes if you don't want to see me paint this little egg.
When everything is all dry, I am going to place one of the eggs here on top and I'm using my top coat. This is a non-wipe top coat. Uh, of course, it's a gel top coat and I am just giving the whole egg uh, or the half egg here uh, a nice coat of this one and then I am hardening it under my UV light. You can use a nice um, glaze instead of this. If you have a nice shiny glaze, that would be perfect. But you can also use a matte one if you like that better. Um, but it's a nice step here that also makes sure that the um, decoration will stay in place. So that's it for the video today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.